Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India, and in this video, I'm gonna take a little challenge of 10 minutes to make a simple GUI calculator with clickable buttons on the request of one of our viewers. So here I have made some setup for starting the tutorial, and I've already executed the stopwatch program by Kutu Surya and. I have opened the sublime text editor. Let us create new folders first and start the project as soon as we can. So I am going to name the folder as GUI. Okay, let me rename it GUI Calc. And I am going to open that folder. For this purpose, I need button function 2.0. So I'm gonna grab that function from here and let me copy and paste all the files. I'm not starting the clock right now. You can see all the shortcuts here because I want to give 10 minutes to the code itself. So as you can see now it is pasted and let me create a new text document and rename it as calc.bat and open it with sublime text editor so now let me minimize this and maximize the clock so the basic layout of the calculator should be as the windows calculator so we are going to make buttons which has mouse H over enabled and we can click them and apply operations operations on them like 78 plus 2 is 80 something like this so let's start right now I'm pressing H and the clock has started so let's start coding write some basic lines and for this advanced programs we need DC condition so I'm going to enable delayed expansion and let me change the title to something like advanced GUI calc and let us set the size of the window to 80 comma 25 standard CMD size let's create a label and create some variables we need a counter so I'm setting a count and a dummy variable string I have created the project earlier so I have remembered some of the, those values so it's for the sake of saving time I'm not gonna explain those values but you can ask me in the comment section and I can explain that later so to complete this project within 10 minutes I have to create some things without explaining them so this is not explanatory video this is a challenge video so I'm going to take the challenge so in the, these nested loops what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a string variable the dummy variable and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save all the values of the buttons in this dummy variable so here I have inverted the X and Y position because in my previous testing it created some error so I switched the values and it worked that's why I'm doing here the same thing so here I am setting up some buttons the values of buttons I'll show you the values later just let me set up values so what I'm gonna do here is I'm remembering the value of y in this in the underscore y variable so here I'm writing x but the x contains the value of y according to the algorithm so 
let's test if the buttons are getting print or not here I'm going to create a loop so the variable the value of the user input can be taken again and again I'm going to disable the keyboard using slash i500 because there is no button on on your keyboard having the 500 sky code and slash m for the mouse input so here you can see we have not declared the button function button function so we need to call the button function first which can process the which can process the values and give us two variables and we're gonna use those variables for under the get input plugin according to the algorithm to the algorithm to the algorithm to the algorithm so here I was lost for a while and my recorder broke so I am going to record again but I didn't stop the clock so we are taking 30 seconds to 40 seconds increment from 10 minutes and in the button function what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the string variable and going to call the variable as underscore var and for the h over i'm going to name them as h over and under the mouse i'm going to call the var variable and for the h over i'm going to use slash h switch and slash h over so i think from 1 to 10 the button should be printed so let's test it out and and as you can see it is getting printed and but it is it seems to be slow because of my antivirus program maybe interfering with these values so we have printed buttons from 1 to 9 what we need is we need some plus and minus buttons also so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to create them separately without using the loop and let me increase the value of y variable by the factor 4 and let's reset the x variable to 1 and again I'm trying to make the code as small as, the, as I can and five minutes are almost over I'll try to make this function as fast as I can not function sorry the program and I'm thinking as well as speaking so it's quite difficult because I'm not a good multitasker like some of my friends and here what I'm going to do is changing the color to the standard and let's take the value A and now what we need is we need to increase the X so that it can fit our values so I think the plus minus and other buttons should also appear on the screen yep and what we need is we need minus and division so I'm going to copy the code and again paste it here here in this case I'm going to change the value to minus and almost for the division I'm using D and for the equal I'm using E because in my testing they created problems so I replaced them with characters it would be easier for me to do that so now I'm going to call let's call a, let's make a box and add the 20 comma 1 let me make it outside the loop and all these values you will know if you will understand the usage and working of these functions so let me let me call the button function inside the loop because we need to print the buttons again and again and here what 
the action should be taken if the buttons are printed so I'm going to check the values of error level variable if the values are less than equal to 9 so first 9 buttons are clicked so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the value and let me reset the variable count to 1 we need counter that counter again and again that is why I have created that counter variable in the beginning and now I'm going to add the previous number to the counter so that it if user usage user printed uh, user need more than single digit character so we can provide it to him or her so in the 11th case we it is a special button so we need that zero button and let me copy it and paste it again and again for the rest of the buttons those are the special buttons and almost nine minutes are over here I have to set the operation of the counter operation of the counter and for the first operation the operation should be plus for the button and and we need to set the value to the of the count to uh, add one into it so we need to copy all these values and just use the mouse this time to make things faster and paste everything out I noticed that I have overwritten a bracket it may cause some error in the last equal to result we're going to make a label named uh, let's say result and for all the operations we need to specify the characters like let me save it a star and division so outside the loop and we need to go to the top here so in the result variable we need the result and all 40 seconds offset so we're gonna need that percentage number uh, let's say one and then we need a for loop for doing that and here the counter variable again comes into picture and we are going to add another variable named op for coping with the error that I have faced earlier so if you will understand this or you want to understand code <coughs> excuse me if you want to understand the code I can make a separate video on that but for this tutorial I'm not gonna explain things I'm trying to do things as fast as I can and in this result variable we are going to use that result and apply the operation on it so the operation and the number should be value and again the number of the value should be a and I think that is all so we're going to print the result on the title uh, result should be underscore result so I think that's okay we have completed the project 
in taking this offset of 50 seconds in 11 minutes so we are one minute late let's see if the calculator works and it seems to be slow because of my windows defender program the real time protection is off and now you can see that if i will execute the program it will run much faster so uh, what will we're going to make simple operations on it three okay it is giving me error and okay let me check the code again it's giving me error so i'll be back soon hey i'm back so here i have copy pasted the wrong thing I have copy pasted less than equal to here we need equal to so to compare things we need to tell the computer that if the value is equal to this you need to do this operation so after changing that little problem I think it should work fine and after loading all the buttons I know it is slow but for learning purpose and it is good I pressed 5 so it should print 5 it's not printing 5 here it should print 5 here why is it is not printing 5 is because I forgot to add the code to print 5 so so I need to start the clock again let's see if how much time it will need to just complete the project failure is not a bad thing well it is a good thing it tells you where you decide and how much improvement do you need so we are again using that count variable for our purpose what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the legendary bad box plugin here and to make things simpler I'm just going to print <laughs> print it at something like 23 comma uh, 3 let's say and the data should be number and it must be a variable number so and here I need to add few things so that if user needs another number it should progress so I can't purchase sublime text editor right now so let's stop the pause the clock and again try it and now let's print 5 and it's printing 5 let's make a simple operation of addition and then press 3 so 5 plus 3 should equal to be 8 and the result is on the title 8 and that's all So that is all for now, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below if you have any query and don't forget to click that bell.